Hey, what is up, guys? We're going to be going over the pre balance patch RTA tier list for the new units, or the, the units getting buffed. So that's like Ilanov, uh, Lilius, Tywin, Chrissy. I think those are the main ones I want to cover that might impact anything. Uh, we're going to be looking at Elf Mage's tier list, so make sure you guys go check him out on Twitch. His thing should be in the description below, or maybe even the comment below. I don't remember where I'm going to put it. Um, but we're going to go over it and see what. You know what he thinks the meta is going to change into with you know the new buffs i do think tywin and lilius are going to be the most impactful i think the the, the ilanoff buff is kind of copium but we'll have to see how that plays out so let's go ahead and take a peek so triple s tier we got a mid up in triple s uh, uh edward apoc rand karina aiden ambitious tywin steny zeo angel angelica meteor Quark, conf lilius and lua why are there so many broken ass units in this game there should not be this many broken ass units in the game, right? To be fair though, you can argue Karina, you can argue a mid, you can argue Edward, you can argue probably Ran, uh, Ambitious Tywin, and probably Apoc to SS here. You could probably take half of them off and no one would be like, no one would really bat an eye, right? Because it's like, it's kind of opinion based. But like for the most part, like the guaranteed foot in, like safe units that are broken, Lua, Conclilius, Meteor Quirk, Angel Light Angelica, Zeo, and Steny. I think these one, two, three, four, five, six are the pinnacle of broken and will forever be broken until we either A get hard counters for them, which maybe we got a hard counter for Lua, or, you know, they get nerfed. But everyone else on this list, I think it's a matter of opinion whether you want to agree with their SS or S SS tier. I think you can argue. Aiden down a tier, I think you could argue Karina down a tier, Rand down a tier, Apoc down a tier, Amid down a tier, and Edward down a tier. Because it is depending on, you know, situation. Also, if Aiden doesn't dodge, she dies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's fine though. I'm alright with saying that at their best, they are triple S tier. That that is hundred percent factual that you can get you can win games with these units on their own. Well, the Amid can't obviously win a game on her own, but um if it's one v one between her and Chiron, she wins. Uh, I've done it like four times. It's hilarious. Tyron can't hit her. And if he does, you have Nullifier fire to back her up. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, all right, so SS tier. Piera, Bright Witch, Tywin, Lilius, Flan, Arwell, Belion, Laika, Silk, Delilibit, Destina, Senya, Shu, Politis, Operator Sigurd, Politica, and then Anis 2.0. Interesting unit can be played in both aggro and standard. It makes her very powerful. All right, so let's talk about the main, like the main thing, right? Tywin and Lilius. So Tywin is interesting because his buff made it to where uh, he's going to impact units that want to stone or sleep because he's able to per like prevent that from happening. Like station stationary debuffs, so like stun and sleep. I'm not sure of any other ones right now. They might make a new one. Who knows? Uh, so, like, he can be a very interesting solution to, like, you know, Lua, if she tries to sleep someone. He can be an interesting pick into, like, Captain Flan in certain situations. He could be a situational pack, uh, pack pick into, like, Spectre's S3 if she's trying to go for that stun, right? There, there are situations where I think that's going to be why you win your game is because of his new immunity to, like, those type of debuffs where you can't get stunned or sleeped on... Uh, on a unit, right? I think that's going to be very powerful. Now, the rest of his kit, I'm not sure about, uh, but I think his utility alone speaks pretty power. Like, it does speak a lot to me. It's like, damn, this unit might be first picked or second picked because of how broken it sounds on paper. Rather or not, it actually plays out to be broken. We'll have to wait and see. Same thing with Lilius. Maybe these units just have, are like, they are good, but they're not like here. Maybe they're just S tier after playtime. Or maybe they're or maybe they're triple S tier after playtesting, right? We have to playtest these units. Well, I won't be playtesting them. The top players will. Now, for Lilius, I find her interesting because I don't know, like... I don't I don't know how, like, she's going to play out. Because, like, do you just let... Do you, do you let Lilius... Or do you let Conk Lilius go through now? And, like, if they pick Conk Lilius, you just lock in Lilius? Is that is that going to be, like, how you play her? Is she going to be that niche pick that just against Conk or Lilius? Or is it going to be more like, is it going to be more universal where any non-attack in it, you're just locking her in? Also, uh, I've been hearing funny things about people saying that she can also set up Commander Cavill because of the crit thing in her kit. In fact, that's pretty hilarious, but she's kind of slow, so I don't know how that's going to pay off in the long run. 
Um, you'll have to have in sync gear to make her run fast, right? The thing is, Conquer Lilius is fast, where Lilius is just kind of slow. So we'll have to see. I don't, I don't have Tywin. Or I do have Lilius, but not built. She's like not even awakened. So I'm interested to see what happens to these units, like how people are going to use them and abuse them in RTA to make it to where they look really good, right? Or where they're really good in general. Like where where in the where in the draft are you picking these units? Are you first picking them, second picking them, fourth picking, fifth picking? Like where in the draft they're gonna land, and how they're going to affect the meta, right? Now, when it comes to the rest of the lineup, I think there's no argument here. Uh, I, I I feel like there is a unit missing, maybe two units missing, but those are just my opinions. Um, I, I do see a lack of uh, awakened Leica, and I do see a lack of Eligos up here, and that kind of bums me out. All right, so what's going on to Arwell is not an SSS gear anymore. It's interesting. I think she's still very good. She's still like the best knight in the game. Blyan still doing the thing with shutting down souls. You have to banner as a mage player. Leica still very fast, very powerful. Silk a good imprint with a seal on her and a dual attack on her. Uh, the little bit's pretty good because of the cleansing she has with herself, and then she can you know skill reset, and cut, uh, act as a bridge. Destina is still very popular in the standard player's world and current two player's world. Senya, Shu, both very annoying to fight as a cleaver. Uh, if you have Snow Crystal on Shu, I, you just can't crit and you might not kill her uh, if you get unlucky. Senya is just one of those units if you can't hit her because of, it has the same thing where if you just can't hit her with a crit, she can take over the game. Politis is just a good answer into like a mid any non-attack skill unit, you just lock her in and they have to either play around it or get punished for the most part. Operator Sigurd, I'm not sure if she's really up here because she needs some ridiculous gear to pull off some kills, right? I've gone against some Operator Sigurds myself with Arwell and they just don't do the damage and they lose because of it. So you need high, high, high-end gear to make her probably pop off enough to do that damage. Um, but if you do have a high-end geared Sigurd with like ridiculous gear, I'm sure she can just carry the game. Blitica, I hate this unit. I think Blitica is just the most unethical unit when it comes to ML5s in, in this game. I, I hate her more than Conclusius. I hate her more than um, Angel of Light Angelica. Like, the fact that she's got so much utility is so ridiculous. On top of it, you can build her for damage. Like, that, that nullifier in her kit that can go on the team. The freaking skill resets. Like, I want to drown her in a dirty pool. I hate her. No offense, Politica fans, but your unit, that unit's too good. Too good. Too much. Too much utility. Anus, uh, I've already talked about her a little bit. Uh, she can be played in both playstyles, apparently, and she's pretty good at it, uh, uh, what her job is. Um, so, I don't know, like, how fast people are building her. I'm not sure how, they, how they're, like, really getting into using her, but uh, I, all I've heard is good things about this unit. Like, she's a very good unit, and she might be a bit unethical. So... Uh, I don't know much about her because I just don't I, I haven't played RT all too much But apparently she's pretty good And then we go to the S tier here uh, Is there anything out of the ordinary in here? No, nah, not really still. No, wait, where 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 is my Leica? Where is my oh? Eligos Leica damn elf I feel like elf perfectly like picks my units that I really like and just like drops them down to the bottom just to just to get under my skin a bit he's like Volume legs of units. Let's just nerf the hell out of volumes uh, tier list. Let's just nerf it. Nerf it to the ground. Anyway, let's go over it. Below it is very solid, very good, very, very popular um, for turn two into turn two. Solitaria, one of the other unethical units in this game. That's going to be a bit harder to pick because of Tywin. Maybe? Eula is still a good tank. Um, DJB is still very good at. Dude, hit lowering, I swear hit lowering is like the most annoying debuff in the game, man. Like, like, don't get me wrong, he's got more than just that. He's got the CR pushing, he's got the barrier inversion, he can even heal a little bit. But bro, every time I fight this guy and I hit lower, I do not hit my crits at all. I hate that debuff. That be that debuff is way too good. I hate it. That hit lowering crap is annoying, at least against me. I just like. I might as well top right if my whole team gets hit lowered because I'm not hitting anything for like two turns. Um, Tama Luka, I love this unit. I actually want to get her. Uh, I think this might be the next unit I go for that's a, a, an older unit because I think she's really good. She's a great bridge. 
she can execute and or not execute she can extinct she's just really hard to build and i think she's a bit dupe hungry and gear hungry uh so she's a very end game oriented unit for like i would say th gear three players like i i don't even know if you'll have the gear to give her unless you're extremely lucky as a year two player i think this unit's pushing three to four years of like gear to make her top notch like she needs ridiculously powerful gear and if you're like me you're not very lucky in rolling gear it might take you a very very long time to gear her but at her best she's ridiculous landy's still very good good she's a good bridge unit um also gets active uh, also has per the uh guiding light i like, use on her that people love just racks up damage really good into hand guy like she's really good at punishing hand guy uh, because of the buffs that he gives and she's just able to just like keep that damage going say uh sage ball very good because you can sleep your whole team but once again time win We're we got to talk about time win right every time we talk about these units i have sleep in their kit or stuns we gotta we gotta look at time win now fairy tale tenebria never seen her in any of my matches i feel like this is like something you never see uh roy is very 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 good and i really wish i had him sid is still good in print ray is still pretty popular not popular i haven't seen this guy at all um but i guess he's still very good vivian's good armin's good kisei's good with uh with the help of a mid um assassin sid's a good fifth pick if you're trying to either scare cleaver or go for a force ban uh a Raz is good you've been needs zeo set up which is very very good still milam's good because she can spot guiding light units and she has access to a book or if you're a turn two player and you build her a bit tankier knuckles get those counters off with her uh whenever she doesn't get crit you have a chance to get those non get those counters off um maid's pretty good for er gaming like she's like an er soul reaver if you're not trying to get debuffed and you need all the er you can get this is your girl but she's squishier than um destina so careful with that because you can kill her a lot easier than destina Alencia is a good injury unit, which, I, like, I'm going to talk about it right now. I think Alencia is literally just red, Illinoff, but way better. Like, I think Alencia is just better in, like, every way over at Illinoff. Because she does the injury thing uh, as well. She's got the defense break. She's got, you know, she's able to do a lot of damage and strip. I, I don't know if Illinoff is going to keep up with, uh, I don't know if it's going to be like you pick Illinoff into Alencia. That, that'd be a very interesting way to fight into her. Maybe. We'll see. Minor Sermia is still very powerful. It just can get killed and punished if you're not careful of her. Dark Corvus. I had an amazing game with Dark Corvus as a cleaver. That guy, man. He's got potential, man. Uh, but, like, every time I either A, see a Dark Corvus in action, or B, go against a Dark Corvus, my man drops the ball and loses. So I'm not sold on him yet. I feel like he gets more L's in his life than W's. But maybe in, like, in the, in, like, the perfect situation... Where their team just doesn't have enough damage, he can do his job. The issue is what I think with Dark Corvus is if you just bring enough damage, you kill him. You just can kill him. You can save him for last, and you kill him. Like uh, one of my best units into Dark Corvus that usually gets banned, but if she gets let through, I'm no longer like I don't care about this guy. Is Spirit Isolene. Spirit Isolene cuts this man in half. It's awesome. I love Spirit Isolene in this unit. Um, Aiden's pretty good into this unit too. Uh, yeah, Rona makes sense because uh, she's got her niche. ADS can be either top tier or middle tier, depending on if she actually wants to do her job and actually proc, you know, that additional. Uh, Cor or Crozet's a mitigator for one unit on the field, I think, of a certain class. Sildred's an imprint and can do damage. Strays uh, needs a bridge and an attack buff to do his job really effectively, good into tanks. Holiday Unifin's a great bridge, and she's got the evasion along with her. Um, another unit that I would love to get. Rimuru S tier. Fair enough. I think you can put him in S tier. He does steal buffs. He does have his like, guaranteed damage. Um, but he usually dies not too long after. So you better hope you get a kill with him or a defense break with him. Uh, Commander Cavill, with the right setup, he can win you the game. Just careful with how you draft them because there are units that are tanky enough to punish you. Uh, like really tanky up Apox without like the proper like how do I how do I wear this? You you can draft Cavill into an Apoc if you have a, a additional solution to also deal with the Apoc. So for example, I like drafting Emil Leica, Eligos, and Cavill together because then Apoc Ravi is irrelevant along with their whole team. If they all get through and I actually get that debuff guaranteed soul burn with Eligos on the right unit, I get the AoE with the Leica, 
A wave the Cavill, something dies, LA Ghost follows up with his S2, he tips something to death, or I follow up with the Cavill S3 and just finish off whoever needs to die, and the field's clean. It's a, it's a clean field wipe in the right situation. Arya, high ER is very, very annoying. Tehu is really good to Nola, like Kurter, but Tehu himself is just so bad that it's just hard to use. Um, you have to build him dirt slow to play into this, and then like they could just kill him beforehand, unless they're just not very tanky, or if they're just too tanky, you don't have the damage. But Tehu is like the best solution to Arya. That, or you just need like insane effectiveness to strip her, like 200 plus effectiveness maybe to strip her. Uh, aggro support unit being Amelia, Zahawk's a good bridge, and a unit that has hit chance, so he can kill units like Aiden, Rylet. You know, he also has injury, so you can just throw his ass into an APOC and just completely nullify a lot of that damage that she would usually have with um, with his injury. Uh, I love doing that with Zahawk. Um, if, if there's an APOC in the field and there's no other, like, big threat, I just S3 into the APOC, cut her health down, make it to where her damage just kind of falls off. Rylet, you draft him to a full blue team and he can carry you. Lots, uh, just another option to, uh, like, ML Lots is a good uh, bridge. And then Selene. Green Selene. Green Selene. Green Selene. I don't like this unit here. Elf, you troll. Ah. The unit sucks ass cheeks. It's a fake unit, man. Even if you draft her into Rand, you get her killed. Like, yeah, sure, don't pop her S2. Just just S3 and kill her ass. Or, or better yet, draft a mid. And they have to force ban a mid. If they don't, she does literally nothing. This unit's fake. I hate her. I love her, but I... You can hate how bad she is. This unit's terrible. Don't listen to this. This, 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 Selene is not here. I don't care. I will never lose to a Selene in any situation that I try to cleave in. She's supposed to be like this all -y, like all god against non attack skill units, but she fumbles every time, man. It's so frustrating. I want to love her, but I can't. Um, A tier, Ilnov's here, Rylet's here. Uh, Ellie Ghost, I think this unit's way underrated. I think this unit is godly good in the right situation. In most situations, I draft him every game, and he pops the hell off for me. But maybe in Legend, it's a different story because his gear needs to be ridiculous. I don't know. I think we have Leica here too. I think Leica is also underrated. I think these two together should at least be either S tier or SS tier. Probably S tier. I think you, you put Leica and uh, Eligus in S tier. They're fucking better than this trash can of a unit. God, dude, I mm, angry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been seeing a lot of Vildred lately, and I think that's because of the like uh, Eligos meta. Uh, you have to draft yourself like an extra unit that can take care of him, like an extra turn or a way to protect yourself, like a nullifier or something. Um, for the most part, it doesn't really affect my games too much, though. You still have shit unit. And then I guess the last one to talk about is Giselle. I've seen some of you guys comment on this, saying you guys don't have success with her. Fair enough. You either A, don't have success with her, or you do. Anyway, um, enough ranting. That's that's the tier list. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think Elanoff might be okay here. I think I think Tywin and Lilies could either go up a tier or down a tier. We have to wait and see how they are on paper. Um, and yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.